This is the land of my bad. Yo, gospel needs out a door. Yo, we don't know, so don't let me out. You don't know better than that. Yo, man, I can't out a door. I'm going to have a field trip. I mean, I don't want to go to a field trip. Prep school or primary school. You know what I'm thinking already? The teacher carry out and the only and you sign a permission slip. I get KFC when 12 o'clock come. Yes! Them times the KFC has $200. Where's KFC now? You know, nobody does it better. Anyways, we're there in our Eros Park. We're live. Yeah, we're live. In our son at, yo, it's on a beat, you know. You ready for the day every day in our son, you know. Yeah, man, so you know, so sleep is never easy. So I want to give big up to all of the ears, them, because I know that thing that got ready. And so we will just be bringing something different to you. You know, we just have to appreciate the weekend, all our heroes them do for it, you know. And we're just there, and we have to be a part of the celebration, you know, of National Heroes Weekend. Yeah, man, so check it out. Gospel Deeds is live with you. Gospel Deeds is brought to you by Dre's Body Delish, Edge Accessories, Trappings Wear, Day Empowers, J and Way, and Jamaica Gospel TV. And so, no, because of your support and your love, Gospel Deeds has now expanded their, their borders. And so, Caribbean Gospel TV is now on board to take the program. Now, listen, just type it in online, Caribbean Gospel TV. You understand it easy accessible and they will carry the program at the same time eight o'clock you understand so if you're not up on the youtube that's up make sure you check out caribbean gospel tv and guess what our page magazine has now offered us a, a, a great deal a great package and so we're looking forward to that now check out their instagram yeah man make sure you follow and you share while well, going right there so, so you know now listen page magazine is like feel like i'm stepping in a room with a whole heap of elite people you understand some great people in society and so we'll be sharing gospel deeds as a part of page magazine and so we're looking forward to that and guess what jnw is with us again and we're promising the surprise and i'm thinking you know, all yourself and i get them remember me not forget you understand so welcome to gospel deeds yeah man something new welcome back to deeds and as you know this is our heroes weekend edition and so we just have a big up the people who are doing big the culture you know that you understand so listen Kayla Hall, you know, Miss Jamaica World, congratulations to you. You know, um, big up yourself on the accomplishment. The winner of Miss Jamaica World 2021 is Miss General Foods, Kayla Hall. Hall. Ladies and gentlemen. No, listen, as I tell you, you know, the artists, them alias, I do it big. And guess what, TJ Robinson, he released his live experience, you know, his live worship encounter. And we just want to take a quick look at that. And forever, God, and forever. Now, on another note, we realize that a lot has been happening. And remember, you know, we're in this Heroes Weekend edition and we look forward to the people who are being awarded. And so now, listen, Chris Adam, you have to let me know what you think about the recent happenings of uh, Pastor Al Miller and the media and government and all of the works. Uh, let us know what you think about it. Now, on the international scene, we have to remember, and you know, listen, Orlando Brown. You know, a lot of us know him from that story of, yeah, man, that look at you there. Yeah. <laughs> Big man now, everybody grow up. Um, he is now a Christian, and he has overcome his addiction, you know, from a rehabilitation center in Texas. Yeah, man, a faith-based one. So, them think they're important. You know, we have any thing in Jamaica. If, if we have none, let me know about them, no? We can check it out. If not, make a start one. 
you know. Um, so let us have more influence as people get back on their feet from whatever struggles they face in life. Yo yeah, man, so this, you get it? Yo, I'm telling some rhyming thing, lucky now. Anyways, <laughs> this you had one more part of the worship encounter again. This was the final one. And guess what? For the year, probably. Come I feel like you come back again, you know. This year, we're going to talk to you. And you can tell us what I'm going. You understand? So listen, here are the clips from the worship encounter with this year. Single mother, struggling dad. The place that you're in, trying to drive you mad. It won't inspire you, soon it will be gone. Beats are the deeds, yeah man, the gospel deeds, you know the thing got ready, you understand? And this uh, episode will feature Trezeguet music. Where, where is Linton? Anybody see Linton? Yeah man, me, me, me DP tell me, say, Big man, what a shot the brother? You, you see that brother right there now? I doubt me can't deal with <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no, Tres, talk to us. Well go on. You good? I'm great, Dexter. How are you? Alright, so so Tres again. Um I feel like that French, you know, get up and bad on him. Tres again, you know. You understand? From France. No, talk to us. <laughs> um who is Tres again? Ah, what's what's Tres again music? <laughs> Honestly, I don't like answering this question because I don't know how to. Okay, so who is Tracy Gay? Uh, I'm a little girl out of Christiana in Manchester. I attend the Devon Story Twenty Castle Church of God where my dad is actually the pastor. I enjoy sports, netball, football, basketball, volleyball. I love music, I love ministry. I started out playing the trap set and then I started singing. So from there I learned a little bit of the keyboard. Uh, so yeah, in a nutshell, I I guess that's who I am. <laughs> Alright, so see uh, yeah, new song I drop on them thing that go using us step by step. Uh tell us a little more about that new song. Okay, so the title of my new single is actually Step by Step. And it was pretty much influenced by everything that is happening around us today. Uh based on what we've read about the children of Israel during their exodus. Uh it feels pretty much like what we are enduring today with regards to COVID-19, people going missing, the crime, violence, everything. So the approach that I took towards this song was to actually encourage others to forget about the compass, whatever you use for navigation and all of that to show you the direction to go. Forget about it, focus on God because He's our only desire and if we follow His plan, will definitely make it to the promised land. So this song is on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube, uh, Audio Mac, all of them. So you guys can just run on over. It's Step by Step by Tracy Gay Smith or Tracy Gay Music. Uh, and hopefully you will enjoy just show your support and leave some love. So yeah, that's what this, this new song is all about. So uh, I'm going to know a little bit and I'm realizing you play, play a drum and them thing there. But tell us, uh, is, is music what you always wanted to do? Ah, uh, no. I knew I loved music, but it wasn't something that I wanted to do uh, all along. I actually went to the University of the West Indies and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Psychology and a minor in Criminology. And after leaving, I mean, it was pretty much just God being like, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're, yeah, yeah, this is what you're going to do. So he laid a bunch of stuff on my heart, um, a bunch of lyrics that I believe that he wanted his people to hear. So I was just obedient and went ahead and wrote the songs, uh, produced them, recorded them. And yeah, so that is pretty much how I ended up in music. So what can we expect uh, from Trezeguet? 
in the future. If I should be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out what I should expect from God regarding this ministry. So I just encourage you all to come on the journey with me. Let us all uncover and un unlock the different levels together and to see what God has in store uh, for me and for you. I honestly don't believe that you can definitely expect music, encouraging music, relatable music. Um, and expect to see God working through me to minister to you and just to bring the word to everybody, bring his, his gospel and, and all of that, his love to the world and his children. So, yeah, come on the journey with me and let us go. <laughs> so, we are in the month of recognizing our heroes. Now, who do you say your hero is? I actually have heroes. Um, without a doubt, it would definitely be my parents. Uh, they've been there with me through thick and thin from all that little baby uh, playing drums and trying to sing and all that babbling uh, lyrics and all that they've been they've been amazing and they've been on the journey and I really 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 appreciate them so without a doubt as I mentioned before definitely Lily and Desiree Smith I love them so much so yeah they're my heroes Thank you so much, Tracy Gay. And guess what? Now we have a feature of a new song. So everybody, look out now. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, man. Like, share. You know the thing already. Step by step. Step by step, it feels like we're walking the fire. Step by step. Step by step, you are only desire as we make our way to the promised land. Just like the children of Israel, we set out on our way. No faith in compass have we lost our way. To the king, yes, we trust Yahweh Follow his plan and we will make it to the step promised land step. Feels like we're walking through fire Step by step, but you're holding our hands Step by step, you are only desire Three, two. I am more than honored to have Listen to me, I, 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 I would call him a hero. I would call him a hero. We have with us uh, Dr. Ray Carr uh, Williams, you know, JP and a whole heap of other letters before him name. No, listen to me, Jamaica. This is no ordinary man sitting beside me. You hear me tell you? No ordinary man. And I'm just elated just to have him here to share with us on this program. No, it's such an honor. Dr. Ray Carr, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, man, thank you for being a part of the show. Now, Gospel Deeds, people, we're gonna, gonna learn a little bit more about this man here. Now, if you see him on the road, you would look like any ordinary man because that's a profile he chooses to, you know, to display. But let me tell you, you see what is in here? <laughs> it, believe me, it is not the the average man. Trust me, I, I admire him so much. Now we're just going to learn about him a little more. And so let's hear what he has to say because I, I know he has a, a big family. So you can tell us a little more about that, the family life. So Ray Carr, you're married now for, for how long? 24 years. To, to who? Joy Roberts Williams. Say, say it again, you know, because you have a big eye Joy up, you know? Roberts <laughs> Williams. <laughs> and to Joy big up yourself, 24 years, at least I remember. Yes. <laughs> just this week. Just, just this week? Yes, the 11th. Yeah, man, congratulations on that as well. And how many kids are you know? Three. Yeah, we currently is. have an adopted one. You have an adopted one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much, how much girl so and how much boy. And... So we, I biologically have one daughter and two sons and we have um, taken in a young one recently right, so young the, girl we, we also give you the most talking we try to give you the most talking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really don't know they give their equal share of trouble <laughs> we know what kids are equal share of, of laughter <laughs> Yeah, we know kids are because me getting enough trouble. Me think actually get more trouble than me still. <laughs> and we definitely believe that. Now, we want to learn a little bit more about your accomplishments because certainly you have done a lot. 
you know and some some of us naturally we would stop you know at probably a degree you know because we set to there but you have strived and you've worked hard and you've you know pressed for more so you want to tell us a little bit more about that journey well the journey is that i started out as a financial professional struggling to do my acca examinations and along the way i thought of giving up and so on and then i moved into doing a master's program in counseling psychology really to put accounts on the side <laughs> and put it on the back burner and then i find that i start to perform better so i move with the two programs finish the two of them in the same year and then i move on to doing a doctorate in ministry because i was now a lay minister within the church and wanted to be effective in ministry seeing that my background was more secular and so having finished that i then thought i wanted to reach my actual you know the, the self-actualize in the in the corporate world as well so i went on to do the doctoral study in business administration so that's about it <laughs> when you hear that no after me if you, if you know anything about accounts when you hear acc you normally a run you know <laughs> because i've heard it's a, a very difficult uh process yeah. but he has done it and he has done far more than that and on top of that he is a pastor you're a pastor of the model, model yes, church the bishop of the presiding bishop for the model church of god listen to me no man you hear that bishop <laughs> so now we must lead flock and lead all of these things yeah. and everything and, and every, every everything is involved in that no no, sir, Ricard, we realize again that you are as well an, an author. Yes. No, you look here. The, the back part, nice to you, so I'm only for a pretty picture there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we should. Certainly, you can just bring up those books. I'm sure, but um, listen, this one strikes me a lot. Um, a dangerous game to play. Yeah, man. Extramarital affairs. Listen, man. Uh, Extramarital affairs. No. You, you want to tell us a little a little about this book? All right, I am. I was journeying with a taxi driver, and he shared some stories, you know, of what he encountered over the years with people, with their extramarital life, you know, and their chikini ways of living. <laughs> <laughs> and after coming out of the car, I was like sitting down thinking about these stories. I wonder if, if these things really happen in Jamaica, because <laughs> I've never heard of it before. And so I thought, I said, this thing need to make a book, and I thought about it forget about it then I come back to it and so on and then I went on to it and in also in doing that I merge it with other information you know especially child molestation because there are adults who prey on children to have their fun and think that that's the way of life so the book encapsulates all of that and um, it is shared in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a story format and then discuss this discussion in the counseling um, perspective um, theological perspective and also the cultural issues so a lot of pastors and so on enjoy reading it in terms of the counseling aspect and insights that it shares so it's a very unique book you know, unique indeed multi-purpose <laughs> certainly sounds balanced as yes. well and I, I realize you mentioned children and your most recent book um helping children scarred by circumstances yes. your most recent one you want you want to give us a little interview about all right that one birth out of sharing about the second book with a group of kiwanians across jamaica and they are really big on children so it was recommended that i do a book for you know to write about the children which in this we're talking about the children of the alpha age where my last child would have fallen <laughs> i think from 2010 to um forget the dates now but um they, they, it covers a lot about the children and and how we have to pay attention to them you know the big thing is that they spend a lot of time around the screen we're in a culture now where you're not supposed to be beating children although we used to get a whole lot <laughs> so it, the book um deals with that violence in the home in the community at school all of these challenges that we as as older parents we never used to experience some of these in our lifetime but the children now are, are have to face it and so the book gives some suggestions and guidelines how we deal with these issues you know because it's very very topical now it also yeah. covers the molestation which is prominent now as many of our children are at home with the predators so you know it speaks a lot to that and, and certainly it's a timely book I, I believe um, 
But you know, uh, amongst all these things, you know, uh, Dr. Rekar, I, I realize that you're very big on administration and how things are handled in, in Christendom yes. and Kingdom. And so there's other book that speaks to this, uh, the yes. governance, a challenge to small churches. Right. But I, I don't know why I put small, I think you should just leave it at churches. <laughs> yes. So you know, you can give us just a little more insight on that one. Right. It, it is a research project um, for my doc doctoral dissertation where I worked with 10 small churches. That's where the small comes from. But it's really a good book to help persons. It shares business insights and also, you know, things relating to managing and governing the church. One of the thing is that as Christians and as a church, most times we only focus on the spiritual side mm -hmm. of things and not much emphasis is placed on the business aspect where the church has to be registered, the church must pay its taxes, the church, you know, have, have certain administrative issues to do in terms of if you pay staff, yeah. there is tax associated to that, how you manage your NHD payments and NIS and the list goes on. So it's really a book to help churches, leaders who are struggling um, to, to, to carry out their administrative role more. In fact, you know, as a chartered accountant, I share a lot about that to help them. It also share on risk management, the importance of insurance, mm -hmm. and so on. So it's a very timely book as well, and yeah. very, very insightful. Uh, always really fun, because in any church administration, you know that the treasurer is next to the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, God, everybody needs to know what happened to church, Money. Money, you yeah. understand? So transparency is key, I believe as well. So you know, it's it's good to understand that you have accomplished so much. You know, yes. uh, it's rich. The, the, you're leaving a legacy behind. Yes. You know, and as we're celebrating uh, the Heroes Weekend, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to ask you. I believe you are a hero in your own self. And so, who you did say has been that kind of hero for you on this journey throughout life? Wow. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never, I've never, never given any thought because <laughs> I really don't um, see the, the heroes as, 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 you know, they're motivated, motivating as much. Um, you'd find more current day people who have been there, you know, as, as good influence. But I like M Marcus Garvey in terms of some of his sayings and, you know, we have looked at those things. In fact, other countries see his writings as more important and his, his statements you know and use them as helpful while we really don't pay much attention to his work but i'm i'm really proud of the heroes you know their 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 fortitude and what they have done for us to give us freedom because i'm i love freedom <laughs> so uh, I, I i really em embrace them and applaud them for what they have uh, done but, but adding to that i wanted for you to tell me who personally you know throughout your life journey yes you know who would you identify as that one person who has played that kind of role in your life you know anybody well know several this? persons have influenced my life in different ways at high school level within the church it's difficult to just name Didn't and name. One. My own mother is a <laughs> is a is a, is a example for me. Working as a domestic helper, she did everything to ensure that you know I got everything that I need in life. I didn't feel I didn't know that I was poor until I became <laughs> until I became older because I would always get three meals per day while other persons around me in our own tenement yard maybe only cook one pot for the day. So for me I was really a affiliate person yeah, yeah. <laughs> compared to them. Right. But have you as you grow up you realize we were really from the lower social economic um, strata. And I believe in pushing myself to move from that level and it's my encouragement to young people you know education was my key yeah. out of you know having grown up in the inner city education was my key out of that and i encourage young people to take education seriously so you're saying that we have no excuse that we can always put ourselves together yes. and do our best and accomplish what we need in in society so Rick, I, I i thank you so much yes. for spending the time here but just before you go we know say so you love sing Whoa. <laughs> yeah so we can't leave here and give it two line of one of your favorite song then. just give it two line of one of your favorite song then. We need the keyboard. Is. Need the key <laughs> Come on, Linton. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me. All my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. 
And all my life you have been faithful Thank you Lord And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh I will sing of the goodness of God <laughs> No we have three books no expecting <laughs> three albums right <laughs> well I, I must say I, I've entered a competition at work yeah JN group um, and I, I the song just come <laughs> so I'm looking forward for that song All to right. be my platform to get into <laughs> the music <laughs> no, let, let's we're looking forward to that so thank you again yes. Sir Car so much you know it's just an honor just to be here and giving gospel deeds and Jamaica Youth for Christ your continuous support over the years Yeah, is a big supporter so we thank you again sir my you know pleasure. blessings have a great day. Blessings. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Now, Heroes Day is not just a tradition. Sometimes we take it for granted what our heroes did for us in our country. Now, George William Gordon, he was born to a slave mother and he was self-educated. And you know, he rose against the different obstacles that he had and became somebody of society. And with all of his resources, you know, because him they have land and all them thing there, you know, him, him give the slave them and them thing there. Yeah, man, read up the thing, you know the thing guy already. <laughs> no, he, he urged them, you know, not to sit under oppression, but to rise against the odds. And so he led a part of the rebellion in Morant Bay. Yeah, man, my boss, how you do it? Talk to me now, you can know what I'm going on. Yeah, I yeah. yeah, understand. Yeah, man. You know what, I feel like someone, I'm a great auntie, them, you know. Yeah, you yeah, know, I'm tired, then I'm. <laughs> no, listen, man. Uh, we, have, we have just big up the ear of them, you understand, the whole of them, because you know the thing got ready. Yeah, man, gospel deeds, so our feature the ear, the boss himself. You see me, you don't know the thing got ready. So, yeah, man, respect to all of our national heroes. As a matter of fact, for anybody at all in your life who has played that part, we give you big props. Yeah, man, we have a whole heap of ear himself. You understand, a whole heap of people stop and contribute and sacrifice them time, them love, them prayers and them effort, you understand? In a my life, just to sow a seed in a my life to make sure you say, listen, I'm come out as no crop, I'm going to stay grounded and them thing there. So listen, you have a hero, I have a hero. Happy Heroes Day. Roll. Up, up, mighty race. Famous words from Marcus Mazaya Gavi. No, you can tell us who your favorite year is. Oh, Nani? Oh, Bustamante? Oh. Well, for me, uh, uh, boy, it's, it's a rough one. But I think I, think, I, think I love the story of um, Paul Bog. Yeah, man, that one that one sit to me differently. That was a different rebellion and his approach. He was a deacon. <laughs> Badness back of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know the thing already gospel needs to have now come to the end of our show and guess what thank you for tuning in thank you for everybody who are watched thank you for supporting all our sponsors you know all the people on board jamaica youth for christ big up yourself shannon daily read anyway you're there big up yourself the vision here the project you know the thing already so thank you for making it gospel needs this week see you next week same time remember the new time you know eight o'clock every saturday yeah man gospel deeds Listen to the rhymes and then walk, take in the new gospel show. This are the gospel deeds, we take it to the street. I know, everybody have received, we know us, so with we information we seek. So guess what? Nothing, now nah, repeat, no half time to weep, we make your skin a seat. Buy through your world well, nice and sweet, so from your heart and me, just lag in your seat. Make sure you join gospel deeds. Gospel Deeds is brought to you by Dre's Body Delish, Edge Accessories, Trappings Wear, Day Empowers, J&W, and Jamaica Gospel TV.